REITs are off to a strong start so far in 2011, and here to talk a little bit about what's going on in the market is Brad Case, NARIT's Senior Vice President of Research and Industry Information. So Brad, what is fueling the strong returns we've seen in REITs so far, and how do they compare to the broader market? Well, well, they have been very strong. You know, in fact, uh, REIT returns so far this year have been, uh, REITs have returned not nearly 9% over the first two months of the year. Uh, REITs are actually, you know, hit a milestone this month. Uh, REITs are now triple where they were at the bottom of the market in early March of 2009. Um, so investors who, who were willing to brave the REIT market when everybody else uh, was afraid of, uh, afraid of the liquidity crisis have, have made uh, good returns, very, very strong returns since then. And that's really the key because, because what's really been driving REIT returns has been their preferable access, preferential access to capital. They have better liquidity than any, any other investors in real estate, and they've been able to use that to make good deals, and they're likely to continue to use that to make good deals going forward. On top of that, of course, we're, we're seeing uh, firming up in the economic situation, and that helps REIT earnings as well. And are there any specific sectors that are, that are doing better than the market as a whole? Well, I mean, the sectors that have seen the most returns so far this year have been uh, the timber sector, um, the, uh, the industrial sector. Um, but really, the, the strength in the REIT industry has been across the board. It's not really a story of, of particular property types. Um, because of the fact that, uh, that, that REIT, REIT uh, earnings are likely to continue to be strong um, because of their preferential access to capital, well, really, all publicly traded REITs have that preferential access to capital. And that means they're all going to benefit from it. Um, the, the property type differences aren't, aren't really the main driver of the story. And one thing that has made news recently is some of this M&A activity starting to really happen. Uh, Prologis AMB, Ventas, Nationwide Health Properties. What does that tell you about the market and REIT valuation? Well, I think the acquisition activity is really a function of the fact that REITs have such good access to capital. Both equity and debt in favorable, favorable terms and, uh, and really better terms than essentially any other investors in commercial real estate in the current market. Uh, it's almost a situation where if a, if a, if a deal's not worth uh, doing by a publicly traded REIT, you, you, you nearly have to wonder whether it's a deal worth doing at all. Um, so I think going forward, we're, like to see, we're likely to see a lot more um, deals done by publicly traded REITs. I'd say most of those are likely to be acquisitions by publicly traded REITs of properties and portfolios uh, currently owned by private uh, real estate investment managers because that really takes advantage of the uh, of the you know the com- the competitive advantage that REITs have over the private side investors but we we're likely to continue to see some of these uh, public public transactions as well thank you very much Brad for REIT.com I'm Matt Bichard.